All Blacks coach Steve Hansen dropped a major bombshell in his World Cup squad, leaving out veteran prop Owen Franks and picking one test flanker Luke Jacobson as they seek an unprecedented third straight title. The other selections were largely predictable with some World Cup first-timers in and some unlucky losers. Rugby reporter Joe Porter was was at the announcement at Eden Park with cameraman Nick Munro. Prop Owen Franks has played 108 tests, won two World Cups and has been a cornerstone of the All Blacks scrum since debuting a decade ago. However, the 31-year-old has been surpassed by the likes of Nepal Laulala and Atu Morley. Coach Steve Hansen says telling Franks he wasn't going to Japan was one of the hardest calls he's had to make. Yeah, really tough call um, you know, because of the nature of, of uh, who he is and what he's done for the All Blacks in the past. Uh, you know, he's a real strong... Uh, character Owen and he's he's uh, delivered time and time again for the All Blacks so to have to to um, call him and tell him that his dream's over was was tough but uh, he had to do it the right way he had to do it with a lot of honesty and a lot of empathy and and to his credit again and the mark of the man you know he, he made it easier than it possibly could have been. While Frank's World Cup dream is over, there's some hope for flanker Liam Squire, who is left out of the squad, but will be available should injuries strike the likes of Kieran Reid, Adi Savia or Sam Kane. While the omission of Liam Squire wasn't seen coming, it was almost as big of a surprise to see rookie Luke Jacobson named for the big dance. Coach Steve Hansen says the Chiefs' Lucy is a star in the making. No, well, he's, he's mature way beyond his years uh, as a player and as a person, in fact, and uh, he's an ex-under-20 captain, so understands the game, understands how to play it. He's got a real physical presence, uh, and as we saw through Super Rugby and even as late as Saturday when he played for Waikato, he's, he's good with the ball in hand. And the Crusaders' all-black production line rolls on with rookie wings George Bridge and Seve Reese named to play at their first ever World Cup. My mum was asleep, so I had to ring her a couple of times. So, but, um, but yeah, um, you know, my dad, because um, obviously my mum was sleeping, so my dad was the first one to find out. And uh, yeah, he got uh, um, so emotional, and um, yeah, it was a big achievement for you know not just not just me, but um, my whole family back in Fiji. Geordie Barrett, Ben Smith, and Rico Yuane round out the back three. While there was ecstasy for the World Cup debutants, there was agony for Nani La Mape, the unlucky loser in the midfield, with Ryan Crotty, Sonny Bill Williams, Jack Goodhue and Anton Leonard Brown preferred. Injured lock Brody Retallick is in despite the fact he'll miss the pool games, meaning Patrick Tuipulotu gets in as the fourth lock alongside Sam Whitelock and Scott Barrett. But what do punters make of the squad? We bumped into the New Zealand Heartland 15 down Queen Street. What do you make of it? <laughs> yep, not bad, not bad. Did you expect to see... Um, Luke Jacobson in there. Oh, was that a him and Squire, wasn't it? So, yeah, I guess so. And what did you make about Owen Franks being left out? Yeah, big call. Uh, he's been there for a long time. It's, it's a bit of a shock, but I think the other boys there will have to step up and do the job. All Blacks are favourites for the World Cup, you think? Bloody oath, mate. Eh? I tell you what, up the bush for the Heartland Championship as well, eh? That confidence is well placed, with Hanson pumped about the chance to win an unprecedented third straight crown. Oh, look, it excites everybody, you know, whether it's your first World Cup uh, or your second one or, 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 or your third one, you know, knowing that you can be part of something that's never been done before, uh, if that doesn't excite you, I think you're a dead man. And he says the huge external expectations on the All Blacks will give them an edge in the land of the rising sun. Well, it gives us an advantage in the fact that we've dealt with it before. I think uh, yeah, it's not to say that other teams can't deal with it, but when you haven't had that experience, sometimes it can be a little overwhelming, um, and if they don't deal with it, then you know, it could affect their performance. Only time will tell if Hanson and co have the right mix, but there's no doubt they're favourites to win what should be one of the most tightly contested World Cups in history. In Tamaki Makoto, Mōte Hōtaka o te ahi pōnei, ko Joe Portoraho.